Hi guys, in this video I'm going to attempt to show you a quick way to make a box plot or a box and whisker plot using Excel. Now I'm using Excel 2013, but there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do this roughly in the same manner in an earlier version of Excel, like 2010 or 2007. All right, so uh, there has been other tutorials I've seen on this on uh, making a box plot in Excel, and they've all been very long, and I'll, you have to jump through a lot of hoops to create this box plot. So here I'm going to attempt to honor my statement and make it as quick as possible. All right, to get you a box plot or roughly what looks like a box plot. Excel does not make this process easy and so we start. Here's our data here. As you can see we have 51 observations. N is 51 and the mean is 25.9. Already calculated these. Now in order to make a box plot I need five numbers okay that at the bare minimum. I need the min, first, second, third quartile, and the max. Sometimes we call this the five number summary. Okay, so to do the min, obviously equals min, highlight all the data, we have the min. To get the max equals max, open parentheses, highlight all the data, we have the max. Now to get Q1, Q2, and Q3, there is a function, and there's also a manual way to do it. Sort the data, find the middle value, that's Q2, use that to get Q1 and Q3. But why not use this function here? Quartile exclusive. So well, all it requires us to do is to highlight the data, comma, and let me actually lock this, the data in, in absolute reference. So comma, for the first quartile, I just type 1. 15 is my first quartile. Now allow me to just drag this down because I've locked the data as you can see with the dollar signs. Of course I'm going to get the same number until I go in. For the second quartile I just change the second argument here to 2. That'll give me the median or the second quartile. And finally for the third quartile just type in 3. Okay, and I get the third quartile. Now, a quick word on the quartiles. There are a couple ways, at least, that I know to get these quartiles, and uh, they get you slightly different results, slightly different results, okay? So there isn't just one technique to do this. The, the results I have here are similar to the way I teach my students to do it by hand, so I'm using these, okay? The idea is the picture that results is not going to be terribly different and you're not interested in the minutia of the details but in the overall picture that the box plot shows you, the overall story of the distribution. Okay, So now that we have the five number summary, now let me show you how to make this. Okay, So it takes, this is, this is a, a lot of kind of innovation here and creativity. So yeah, you might like it, you might not. So we're going to choose an, a scatter plot, believe it or not. And we're going to start with a blank scatter plot. Let's make it a little bigger. All right. Next to the five number summaries, just type the number one because we're going to need these numbers for our plot. Nothing, no other significance to this. Okay. Come back into the plot. Go over to design. Select data. Add a series. The name does not matter. I want my box plot to go horizontally. I feel it's a nicer way to see it. It does not matter if you like it the other way. You can do it that way. So for the x values, I'm going to choose my five number summary. And for my y values, I'm going to choose this column of ones that I created. Okay. If you want it the other way, you just flip these. Click OK, and we're done with this part. All right. So as you can see, I have five points here. That's the min, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. I could do a few things here. I could get rid of some extraneous items, like the grid lines. <clears throat> okay, I'll keep this axis. The axis is definitely useful. I'd love to shift these points down. If I double click on that axis, 
I can set the maximum here to like 2 instead of 1.2 so this whole thing will shift up okay so it just centers my points a little not a big deal all right now the next thing I want to do is go to insert and choose a shape grab a school a rectangle okay if you're looking at 2010 everything I'm doing is you're capable of doing except it just takes a slightly different kind of uh, it, it might be in a slightly different place all right so I leave that to you to figure out now where do I want to draw the box I want to draw the box from Q1 to Q3 well here's Q1 right 15 this value over here all the way to Q3 which is at 40.5 as you can see from the five number summary all right make it as wide as you like uh, up and down that is okay if you need to adjust it a bit it's just the shape okay so there's our box this box represents the middle 50 percent of the data the interquartile range okay now all I need to add is a couple whiskers um, maybe I can make this box a little transparent I could click on it and make it a little transparent so I could see the points alright now I can insert some lines no reason to get too fancy or I could have just clicked on these points and asked for them to be connected by a line okay let's do it that way much cleaner let's make that line the same color as the box all right and if you don't like the line being coming through the box you could have just drawn another shape two lines going that way there's no reason why this line should bother you <clears throat> okay if you don't want the line again get rid of this line by doing that <clears throat> go over to add shapes and actually draw lines okay so I don't mind having that line it, it comes out much cleaner so I'm just gonna keep it I'm gonna make it black as well all right and then maybe as a final uh, couple touches of detail so this is pretty much our box plot here but to, to maybe add some more detail here we can add a line a straight up and down line at the median typically box plots have this line going through the median okay and if you need to shift it it's not difficult to do that so there is our median going up and down here this is our maximum value this is our minimum here's Q1 <clears throat> here's Q3 and the median or Q2 alright so that's a box plot I leave it to you to get rid of this axis because it is unnecessary leave if you like titles you can add titles if you want to label your axis you can do that if you want to change colors or anything like that or tweak it I think this is much faster and gets to the point much quicker especially with the difficulty that Excel presents as far as making a box plot okay if you change the chart a little bit the box will shift around granted but this is a minor price to pay to save a lot of time in making this box plot all right and I did give a little bit spiel about uh, what the box plot is showing us okay so we got 25 percent of the data here 25 percent of the data here 25 percent of the data here and 25 percent of the data here all together that's 100 percent and really what a box plot showing us a big part of it is what's going on in the middle 50 percent which is what I boxed off here. So I hope this was somewhat helpful as an alternative to the long process of making a cumbersome box plot in Excel. There are better tools for this. I have videos on making box plots in R. So if you like to check that out, you're welcome to. 
Till next time, subscribe, comment, share, and have a great day.